654. These are the top stories we're following as you head out the door. We begin this morning with Way 31 Sarah Singletary. In the last 15 minutes, I learned no one was injured at the house fire here on Whisperwood Way. One person is displaced, though. The call for the fire came in 10 minutes before 6 a.m. Way 31 was here less than 45 minutes later, and we did learn the majority of the damage in this house is to the living room area. Will? The Lauderdale County Sheriff's Office is investigating a shooting that happened within the last few hours here on Highway 20. Now, deputies responded to the corner of Highway 20 and County Road 60, where they found a man in his personal car with a gunshot wound to the stomach. He was then transported to the hospital. Investigators say that the shooting itself happened a couple miles up the road. Bill? A fire at the historic Laramore House in Florence. Too soon to know an exact cause. Crews just confirmed despite the damage, the house is not a total loss. The fire broke out just after 10, the second fire at that house in just the past two weeks. One man is in the hospital after he was shot around 11 o'clock last night. Police say an argument led to the shooting. According to police, the two knew each other. The victim has non-life-threatening injuries and is expected to recover. The suspect was arrested at the scene. An arrest in a murder in Florence. Bradley Hill, now in the Lauderdale County Detention Center, charged in the death of a 45-year-old white man. That's the only ID we have at this point. He was found stabbed in the driveway of a home on Nant Street. This morning, six people are still missing after a boat carrying tourists capsized and sank on a lake in southwest Missouri. Eleven people are confirmed dead. At least seven hurt. The boat capsizing a severe weather made its way over Table Rock Lake in Branson Thursday evening. Happening today, the start of tax-free weekend in Alabama. It runs through midnight Sunday. The state waives its 4% sales tax of any kind on school-related supplies, plus certain computers under $750 and clothing less than $100. Most counties will also waive their taxes. Toby Blackstock still on the loose after he walked away from a work release site in Tuscumbia last Friday. Police asking anyone with information about him to give him a call. Taco Bell employee is charged for carrying a gun without a permit. Huntsville police tell Way 31 Caleb Griffin was arrested at the Taco Bell location on Airport Road. The same one involved in a deadly shooting last week. Police say he had a stolen gun on him at the time of the arrest. Kate. One last look at your Way 31 real-time traffic alert. Still no big slowdowns this morning. A little bit of good news, at least for the morning hours, because we've got some pretty intense weather tonight. Numerous severe storms across the Tennessee Valley, damaging wind, the potential for large hail, and even isolated tornadoes starting mainly after sunset, lasting through tomorrow morning. 70% chance of rain tonight into tomorrow morning.